Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, I will answer a question that I had today that um, is a good question. Um, a lot of people might have noticed this when using Google Chrome and um, might be curious as to why this is happening. So you're using Google Chrome and you go into your task manager and you look at the running processes in your task manager. And while you're looking at the uh, process, you notice that Google Chrome has a number next to it. And if you actually open it, you'll see that Google Chrome has several background processes that are actually uh, running. Now, a lot of you have been asking, well, is this normal? Why is there so many process for Google Chrome when I'm using just one application? there's something that's just not right. And it has to do with the fact that Google Chrome has different processes that will actually work in the background. And when you do so, what happens is each process, each little thing, each extension you might have in your browser. So I've got extensions here on the top right. For example, the Microsoft Defender browser protection. The tabs that you have open all of that will influence the number of processes that you have here. And these are processes that have to do with the rendering engines, with um, the extensions, like I said, the main program itself, and all sorts of little um, you know, uh, processes that are required for Google Chrome to run by itself. So they could have not done that. I mean, they could have just done a Google Chrome uh, simple process like a lot of uh, software have. There's a lot of software that you use that gives you only one process and says, well, this is that program running. In reality, there's sub processes that are in that program, but you can do two things. You can offer to actually expand and show them, or you can just simply say, uh, no, I don't want to show anything. So that's why you have all of these processes. And the more you have tabs open, extensions, and the more you do with Chrome, the more processes will open. So here you see I went to 19 after opening a second page. And I can continue on here and say I'm going to open, uh, you know, CNET. And uh, I'm going to go on and I'm going to open um, HF Underground. And so different websites that I go to. So these websites require different uh, things to actually show up. And a lot of, you know, there's not just a graphics rendering. There's all sorts of little routines and little programs that run in the background to show different options and different uh, skills or different uh, things on the web page that require different technologies to show up. And the more this is open, of course, the more processes you have. We're not 27. What is important to note is not the amount of processes that Chrome is going to actually use, but you want to keep an eye as to the ones that might actually be heavy in usage. So sometimes one of the minor uh, background processes might be actually hogging the CPU or using way too much memory. Once again, that often has to do with the content of a page. So the more a page has graphics and things that move around and animations, and the more it will actually take memory and take some uh, processing power. But that's the way it is, and uh, you won't change that much. It is true, and uh, a lot of people complain that uh, Google Chrome sometimes might be using a lot more memory than it actually should. Uh, one of the things we could see here, for example, is if I use Microsoft Edge and I open a new tab and go to a different page, open a new tab, go to a different page, um, and see what's going to happen here. If we look at the processes in here, so now you have Edge, you will see that even Edge is using a lot of background processes. It can be separated into its different little applications running the browser. So it's nothing different 
Um, every browser has a multitude of background processes to run to just display what is on the screen. For the rest, is mostly to keep an eye on, especially the CPU usage and maybe the amount of memory. But you know, this is the way that they uh, they work. They do put a lot of stuff in RAM to make it faster. If there weren't uh, a lot of RAM usage, what would happen is that every time you would go into the different tabs instead of being you know just almost instantaneous they would be slow to come back to you because they wouldn't be in ram memory but it's totally normal and uh, like i said the thing to look at mostly is how heavy of a usage the browser is uh, depending on what you do if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching